Walknail is getting better and better, and as November 2022, they are launching a campaign to try to give a push to their products into the FPV market. Today, I want to show you what I've done to the pair of goggles that I've owned since a few months back, since the beginning, what I've done to them to make them work better, what I've done to them to make them look cooler, and what I've done to them to make them be more comfortable. These walk snail goggles are not cheap, and after spending a few hundred dollars on them, the last thing that you want is that you have a dead pixel on the screen, that small dot that you, sometimes you see when you are flying, that's annoying. So the first thing that I did when I got this was to try to get a cover for the lenses. There is non-commercial available, and since they were pretty new in the market, there was nothing that I, can, I could download from the internet to make that happen. So I went on and I designed myself a very simple cover that you just place on the lenses and you have it there to protect your goggles. If you want one of these, you can buy it from my shop or you can download the STL file from printables.com and print your own version. Let's face it, the antennas that comes with the walk snail system are not that good. The first combo that came with the system were four omnidirectional antennas and people complained quite a lot about them. Then Walksnail started to ship uh, free patch antennas that you could use, which improved things a little bit, but if you want a good and big change on your range, the first thing that you have to do, and I will call this a must do for these goggles, is to change the antennas for something that is good. I like True RC antennas, not only because they are very good quality, but because that company puts a lot of effort on doing everything good for their customers, product and service. So I chose them and I have this power combination of the patch antennas on the front and the Opni on the top. There is some discussion about if the patch antenna, one of the patch antennas should be on the top and so on and so on. But to be completely honest with you, just changing the antennas, the stock antennas by true RC antennas make a huge difference for me on the experience flying my Wox Nail system. So go ahead and do this because as I'm saying, I think this is a must do. We wouldn't be Nord FPV if we wouldn't change the strap of the goggle for our very cool and very comfortable Nord FPV strap. So again, one of the first things that I did when I received my goggles was to change the strap from that thin one that they have to something that is more comfortable, looks better, and I also have the opportunity to have the battery in here position whatever you want on your head, if you want it on the side or if you want it right back so you have better balance, you can do that. Go ahead, check the different models that I have on the shop. If you like them, order one from us because they are not just cool, they are very, very comfortable. Next one, I'm gonna talk about the form that you use on the goggles. The original one is extremely thin and in my case, for my face, I had a lot of light leakage on the sides. So I tried to get something that worked for me the first attempt that I did was to buy the same form that I had on my HDO2 before, because that one worked pretty well and the form factor of the goggles are kind of similar. So I went and I, buy, I bought this one, that was the same one that I had on the HDO2, which comes from uh, Newbie Drone. But even after installing it, I still had light leakage on the side. So I had the option to either print something to make this a little bit more curvy or just to try another form. And I went and I tested this one that I have right now on. It's actually the form that I use and I sell for the DJI goggles. It's pretty thick, it's pretty comfy, and it works very well. Like, I have no complaint with this one. I need to push it a little bit harder, like I need to tighten my strap a little bit more so I can come closer to the, to the lenses because it's so thick that you get a little bit away and you lose a, a, a piece of the field of view. But if you push it enough, if you push it hard enough, 
you're gonna get something very comfortable. You still have your same feel of view and it fits very well. You don't get any kind of marks, or at least I don't. I don't get any kind of marks after using them and I'm very happy with this choice. When it comes to how to power my goggles, I have two options. I have presented in videos before this little box that I have here, which it's a battery case for 18650. It works perfectly. You have this one, you charge it outside, you can charge it with an USB cable directly, and I move it from my different goggles so I can have it on the back of my head. It's not that long cable that you have to connect to your uh, device, and it works pretty fine. It gives me a few hours of flight, which is enough for one session. But if you are the kind of person that you don't want to think about charging that box every time before going to flight and you don't mind having a battery on your pocket i found recently this on the internet which is a kind of big battery pack that you can have on your pocket it's a little bit heavy but it's 20,000 million per hours it's gonna give you a very good long time to fly you can have a usb-c connector to a barrel I don't have the cable yet, it's on the way here. But then you can have this battery pack on your pocket, the cable all the way to your goggles, and you're gonna have very long flight time that you can use there. The battery pack also helps you if you need to charge, for example, your GoPro on the field, and then you have kind of like an all-in-one for your needs when you are flying. It's a good option. There is one thing that I'm actually missing and it's the fact that I use prescription glasses and the goggles, even if they can adapt, they cannot adapt to what I have because I have atismatism. That means that when I'm flying, I get a little bit dizzy or I get headaches, even though I can adapt a little bit my goggles with this that uh, the, the walk snail system has. So, I would love to have some diopters that I can uh, cut and I can put in here, but they don't exist yet. I haven't found any company doing them. And I'm thinking to do something by myself, designing a 3D printed part and maybe cutting one of my old glasses and, and get it in there, but I haven't done it. I'm, I've been kind of waiting for someone else to do something and I just print it out. So if you know of anything, like that that exists today please leave me a message in the comments so i can go and have them i'm, I'm kind of missing them i i'm getting headaches after flying because i don't have my my glasses with me so this is all that i have for you today i hope that you found something interesting in this video and everything that i've been mentioning is going to be linked in the description of the of the video so you can find either you can find them on the shop or you can find them somewhere else. Thank you for watching and see you soon.